Hi everyone and wishing you all a very happy and a spooky and a safe Halloween as well. So what better day can it be to know about the spooky tales of your own city? Today we will chat with Tammy Deans. She is the founder of Haunted Susan Marie and also a world known psychic author and a paranormal investigator. So let's chat with her and know about a few spooky stories around our town. So happy Halloween first of all and Tell us about any spooky story related to Susan Marie or Northern Ontario, maybe the best one or the one that, you know, is really interesting or important to you. I would have to go more with important to me. I have my own experiences. I mean, I've been dealing with this kind of thing all my life, but Bellevue Park. Okay. Yeah, Bellevue Park. There's actually a grave in Bellevue Park. Okay. Um, there is a gentleman there who passed away, but when he passed away, he actually wrote down saying that like you have to remember this is like ages and ages ago where there was no population around here so he was totally isolated on the waterfront and when he died he said that basically he wanted to die and be buried there so that all of the public people would stay away from him he didn't want to have anything to do with the public at all so it's kind of funny now that it's a park because everybody goes to see his grave and is walking all over his property. Mm -hmm. um, but you hear quite a few stories about seeing him walking at night. Yeah. yeah. And that used to be part of our, like I own Honda to St. Marie. So that used to be part of our um, tours. We used to do haunted Great Lakes tours there and we used to go and see him. But some people say that they see a light. Some people say that they see him walking. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. Quite interesting. It can be quite eerie at night too. Just knowing that he doesn't even want you there. Not at night. I haven't been there at night. Try. Just be careful because they close the gates if you're in a car. They lock the gates. You're stuck oh. there for the night. <laughs> oh my God. That's going to be yeah. more interesting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know with, you know, right now with COVID going on, what time they close, but they usually close the gates at 10 o'clock. So oh, okay. if you're there after 10, you're stuck. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So be careful with that, yeah. Any any suggestions for the people who do not have any outfit planned, any last minute, you know, Halloween looks that they can do, anything that you can suggest? You know what? I did have, um, somebody mentioned to me the other day when I said I didn't have a costume, she was mentioning something and I thought, oh, that's such a good idea. It's a rain cloud. So you get an umbrella and you put all the cotton balls on it. So you have a big cloud on you and then you hang little, raindrops from it and then you dress yourself up all in rain gear and then you can go out and you know you're holding your umbrella underneath your little your your rain cloud I thought that was really cute That's interesting. not scary but I, I think it's really cute yes but Hiawatha is said to have a lady in white and she I mean this is since I, before I was you know able to even understand what was happening okay. there was this you know when you go down and there's the beach and then you can see up top where the park is so when you there's a set of stairs there and it said that she's seen coming down the stairs quite a bit okay. yeah and, uh, last but not least what are the services that you provide I do a lot of things. Um, I've been, ever since I was a teenager, for the public anyway, I have been reading tarot cards, um, tea leaves. I do crystal ball. I do candle readings, which is quite, um, quite popular with my customers, I would say. Um, but I also offer different types of things, like through Haunted Sault Ste. Marie again. We do house cleansings. I do name celebrations when you have give birth to somebody. I've done... Um, baptisms and uh, funeral things. So I do quite, you know, quite a wide variety of things, but I would say I'm most known for all my readings that I do for the, the public. And, you know, it just, that's where my love lies. Absolutely. And how do we get in touch with you? How do people get in touch with you if they want to, you know, avail any of your services? So if you're looking for me personally, it's, uh, you can go on the website, it's TammyDeans.com. So just T-A-M-M-Y-D-E-A-N-S.com. If you're looking for Haunted Sault Ste. Marie's type stuff, um, you can find that on my website too, but you can also go to HauntedSueStMarie.com. So 
you know, that I have the two different websites, but there's lots of information there. Um, I've got lots of videos on there. I've written a few books, so you can get links to that. There's like there's so much, so much. That's, that's really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking out your precious time today. Well, thank you for having me. It was quite interesting to uh, sit down and talk to you. And at least it makes me feel I did something for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yes, same here. <laughs>